Okay, welcome to the uh, Anzac Dutch and French turn two. Uh, the Anzac forces are the only ones that can spend any money, and they have elected not to spend any money. They're going to save the 10 IPCs that they have this turn and spend it uh, next turn. There is only one attack this round, and it is going to come from, of all powers, the French. French forces will be attacking Tunisia, and they will be coming in with a mechanized infantry from Morocco, and two infantry will be loaded onto a transport in C Zone 91, and there will be an amphibious landing in Tunisia. The amphibious landing will be supported by uh, this cruiser and this cruiser. Uh, the cruiser from C Zone 91 and the cruiser from C Zone 98, which will be performing uh, offshore shots on the uh, Italian forces in Tunisia. Uh, so that's the only thing we need to roll. Everything else is non combat, so let's uh, get to that real quick. Okay, this is an amphibious assault of Tunisia. The SS Patria transport ship is dropping off two infantry. And the uh, Suffren and the Colbert uh, cruisers will be providing offshore shots. Um, coming in from the uh, ground forces from the land uh, is a mechanized infantry. Uh, so remember in this version of the game, the uh, offshore shots are first strike offshore shots. So we're going to get two threes. missed with both of them. That's pretty bad news at this point. Uh, this attack will almost certainly fail. So, three misses. Okay. Oh, three misses. All right, well, we do have to keep going because it's a amphibious assault. One hit. keep going because it's an amphibious assault. I'm going to retreat this guy, I guess, but we'll see if I can get another hit. Two misses. Two misses. Two misses. One hit. Okay, the two infantry are dead. Uh, I will retreat the um, mechanized infantry. So, not a very successful attack for the uh, French. Um, historically speaking, I guess that's not terribly surprising. Um, but uh, the French lose two infantry and the Italians only lose one mechanized infantry. Okay, the only other moves uh, this round are non-combat. The anti-aircraft artillery in Morocco is going to join the retreated mechanized infantry in Algeria. Uh, the destroyer in C Zone 98, the French destroyer in C Zone 98, is going to join the British fleet in uh, C Zone 95, as is the destroyer from C Zone 81, which is coming from a naval base, so it has the uh, ability to get that far. Uh, the infantry unit in um, Transjordan is going to move into um, uh, Cairo to provide some defense. Uh, the Dutch ships uh, in C Zone uh, 39 are going to move to C Zone 79 to get out of the range of the uh, Japanese um, Navy. Uh, the Transport in uh, C Zone 41 is going to pick up an infantry and um, an anti aircraft from Sumatra, and they're going to go to C Zone 39 and drop off in uh, India. The French uh, destroyer in C Zone 41 is going to make its way to C Zone 79 to get out of the path of the Japanese troops as well. Um, in um, French Indochina, the anti aircraft artillery is going to move up into Yunnan to support the uh, British, Canadian, and South African allies. Uh, in 
Australia, uh, all of the forces in New South Wales are going to move up to Queensland, and the entire Navy in Sea Zone 62 is going to move to Sea Zone 61. So we'll tidy this up, and we'll come back with, uh, well, there's no placement, but uh, we'll come back with money and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, the Aussies are going to collect uh, 10 IPCs. They saved the 10 IPCs from last turn. Uh, so they're going to have 20 IPCs to put in their coffer for next turn. Um, so let's do the disposition of forces while we're in Australia. We'll talk about uh, what's going on here. Okay, C-Zone 61 has two transports. One cruiser, one destroyer, one sub. Queensland has two fighters. Five infantry, one mechanized infantry, one artillery, and one any aircraft. Um, in Shan State, there are two uh, Anzac infantry, and in Egypt, there is an Anzac infantry and a mechanized infantry. Uh, for the Dutch, on Java, there's an infantry, on Sumatra, there's an infantry. In C Zone 39, there's a transport. In C Zone 79, there's a transport and a cruiser, or sorry, and a destroyer. Uh, and in um, India, there are two infantry, one artillery, and one anti aircraft artillery. Uh, those are all the Dutch forces on the board. Okay, France, two infantry in French Indochina, one anti aircraft artillery in Yunnan, one. Um, uh, destro destroyer in C Zone 79, one infantry in Egypt, one mechanized infantry and one anti aircraft in Algeria, one transport and two cruisers in C Zone 94, and two destroyers in C Zone 95, and then all the way up in the UK, we have one infantry and one fighter. Uh, that is the extent of the Aussie, French, and Dutch pieces on the board. So we will move the turn marker to oh. That's really not focusing very well. We will move the turn marker to Turn three, and the Germans, the Minor Axis, and the Finns will go next. Uh, but first, at the beginning of the next video, we will roll to see who the spy will be during turn three. <laughs> 